what is up guys jpr tech here and today i got a short review for you guys today and also an important message paired with this video yeah guys uh, today we're gonna be reviewing the velbon's carbon fiber tripod which i recently got you could see it behind me with the canon eos m and the sigma 16 mm f1.4 mounted on that carbon fiber tripod now this is the first time this is my first experience with carbon fiber tripods and i can tell you guys that it's a whole new experience it's it's just an amazing experience to have carbon fiber and don't get me wrong i am not a rich person i don't have money i don't have, i'm not sponsored by anyone everything i have shown in my channel it's all founded and sponsored by me and my wallet honestly i never imagined i could afford a carbon fiber tripod but i actually got a chance to get one because i went to a second hand store here in japan there are plenty of second hand shops and one of the very popular ones is second street and they sell used stuff but i found me that tripod now looking in amazon i went in amazon to take a look you know because when i saw the tripod it's like it only cost 7,800 yen. Oh my goodness. It was pretty cheap as a good looking light tripod, very solid. It was in great condition. I mean, this thing is great. For that price, it looked amazing. But when I search Amazon for the Bell Bomb, the N, I believe this is the GON 545. They have a few models in there, the 545, 535, and 640 and 840 and they all range about the same price which is almost 40,000 yen that's like 400 dollars if you just want to give it a rough you know conversion to dollars over 400 dollar tripod i got it for 80 dollars yeah i bought that with the quickness and the best thing is I have points in my PayPay pay account, so it all came out being like $30 in reality. So this is probably one of the best investments in this channel to date. And that just, that just made me realize, you know, guys, like just keep your eyes open, be patient. I always wanted a carbon fiber tripod because, you know, the idea of having a big tripod that is light it's convenient i thought but i didn't want to shell out 300 400 dollars on a good tripod and i also didn't want to shell out 150 or 100 some dollars for a kind of like a cheap those third party cheap carbon fiber tripods because i know they're gonna cheap out somewhere whether it's the ball head uh, the screws somewhere they had to cut down on price and build quality so i didn't want to shell out so much money until now, all the tripods I have purchased were like the $30, $20 ones that I just find in the store. And until now, it's been good. It's not a bad experience. There's nothing wrong with cheap tripods. They do the work just the same. But it's just, this is sturdier. It holds its ground and is really like to carry. Before that, I've been using the Amazon Basics huge bow head tripod that is huge and heavy i rarely take that thing out only when i'm gonna do long exposure shoots because it's just so bulky and heavy and that's why this tripod is just so easy to i can even sling it on my bag and carry it with me so i'm happy with it now that you got the whole why and how story background story let's just talk about the tripod and my experience with it it's just an awesome tripod. It's so fluent and smooth. Now I have to warn you, it is like an oil-based ball head. So you will have some grease leaks here and there, or maybe that's why it was so used. Maybe it was leaking grease, but it ha I haven't had any problem with it, like getting grease on my hands or whatnot. It's just, you could see some parts are shiny than others. And, and that's probably the reason why it's so smooth. My other newer ball heads that I have used, uh, up until date, all the ball heads I have used were by newer. So they're very cheap, economical, and they're pretty decent, but they do wear down quickly. It's not a smooth pan. They're always jerky and kind of like, it's, it feels like there's 
sand or rocks gravel inside the bowl head so it doesn't allow me to get a nice smooth pan and that's what happens when we go with the cheap route but now i can see where the money goes with an expensive tripod no matter what angle i go i pan is all smooth and actually one of the videos i uploaded recently i use only that tripod and it looks like i had a gimbal because i did so many pan shots but it was all tripod and it came out really smooth. I'm just really happy with this tripod. Now the tripod, a little bit about the specs. I'm not a tripod person, so I don't know much about specs, but it is rated at, it's just shy under four pounds, which is light for a full size tripod. And for the rest of the world, so if you don't know about pounds, uh, we mainly use gra grams and this is rated at a hundred and let me double check 1770 grams which is extremely light now to put this in context my canon eos m with the sigma lens and the battery grip is uh, over a thousand grams so basically what i'm trying to tell you is this tripod is probably as heavy maybe lighter than the camera setup i have and you may have so that's light really light another great point that i found on this uh, tripod is the screws are really accessible so if any screw gets loose and you could tighten them to your liking you could have a really really tense or you could have it where it's easy to unlock and slide off the the legs expand them easily so you can control that with the screws which requires an allen allen key on top of my head i don't know the size but yeah, you could just control the tension with Allen keys. Aside from the weight, the design, the build quality, another feature that I never thought about, I would like so much, is the little balancing bubble levelers. Yes, they are two levelers, vertical for horizontal and for vertical balance. So that means you're gonna guarantee to have a straight shot no matter what before i'm just eyeballing or using like for example my fujifilm xh1 has um i don't know a leveler line that tells you when you're tilted it's a great feature but it's just not a hundred percent accurate it can't be as accurate as mother nature you know you got air bubble floating around balancing when it's a level that is as accurate as you can get and I just love that feature that is right there on the bow head. The bow head has two handles, so you could tighten the vertical and horizontal pan or tilt. Now this thing works so well that you know what? I'm just gonna show you quick B-roll videos, some shots that I did. I haven't really tested it that much, but I have taken a couple of shots with it and they come out pretty smooth. So let me know what you guys think, but roll the tape. Oh, I gotta roll it, hang on. So all in all, this is just an awesome tripod. Of course, it's not perfect. Now, one of the cons I found is the actual mounting plate. It's not your standard, you know, Swiss quick lock release thing. It's a proprietary. I don't know how proprietary this is, but I have never seen it before this video. Now, it does snap in there really nicely. I give you that. I give them that, you know, it snaps on nicely. But this plate right here is so different from my other plates i can't mount this anywhere on any other trap or any other bow head i can't use the quick plates from my other tripods in here so it's just this is it i'm stuck with this plate. so i'm thinking considering buying more plates to have on my fujifilm to have on my sony a7s and then i can quickly switch between cameras easily that way without removing the plate so I might end up going with that route because this tripod is just amazing. And that's about it. That's the only con I have found. It's just the plate 
that is so different from my other plates. That's it, really. That's, that's the only con I got. Oh, no, 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 no. There's one more con. I almost forgot. There is a screw at the bottom of the tripod, and I'm guessing is so that we can take out the bowl head and screw it at the bottom and get a really low angle shot or a macro shot of something, which is great and dandy, but I wish they had come with a little hook that you could screw at the bottom and therefore you could hang your camera back, add weight for those windy days. But unfortunately, it didn't come included or maybe it's because mine is used, I don't know. Please someone tell me in the comment section down below if it does come included with it, great. If not, I'm gonna have to look for a little hook because I do, do, I do use my back to hold down a tripod when I'm doing long exposure shots. So I can't do that right now until I get that hook. So other than that, there's really nothing wrong with this tripod. It's just an awesome tripod. Great design, great build quality, and I'm sure it's worth the money, but $400? Not for me, but I'm just glad I got it under 100. So guys, if you guys approve of this message to look for use secondhand over brand new, smash that like button, like and share. And also, if you have any questions, any comments, if I messed up on some of the specs, please don't hesitate to let me know in the comment section down below. We're all here to help each other, learn from one another, and just keep improving our photography and videography community. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.